Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take on the Developer's Naked Battle Brother Challenge. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to sit here naked and play... No, that's not what I'm going to do at all. In fact, what's going to happen is we're going to go in with no armor, only shields and weapons, and we're going to do battle with the first group of enemies that we have to fight, like the tutorial mission. And we're going to see if we can do it without losing anyone. I'm hoping that it'll work. I don't know for sure, but we're going to give it our best shot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've decided to make the rabid dogs, and there's a little bit of a backstory. We'll get into it once we get into the combat. So yes, I thought this through, totally, totally thought it through all the way from beginning to end. We're going to go here, and we are going to go into the buy sell menu. We're going to go into this, and we are going to remove our extra armor and equipment. Oh yeah, it looks like we have a ranged individual this time to start off with as well. Which is sweet, sweet, nice. I don't think I'm going to be using knives, but yeah, you never know. Or, or sticks. Is that a wooden stick? It is. Yeah, I think we're going to go, we're going to aim a little bit higher than that. Just a little bit. Alright, I'm going to sell all of this stuff. I'm totally confident in my ability to not need those things. Additionally, folks, additionally, I wanted to point out as well, I've considered doing this with only knives and, and sticks, like all the weakest of the weak armor that we could possibly get and see how that actually played out because I think that would be pretty fun but at the same time I don't foresee that going super well for us alright so first things first we need to get some more battle brothers alright we have Sigurd the, the beggar we're gonna totally hire him we have Aldemar we're gonna hire that guy oh we have a Hugo or a Hugo as it were yeah but we're not gonna get him Ooh, we got a dwarf he's, he's my hero so he's gonna be a small guy he's a messenger too uh, we have to hire a Hugo. I mean, that's just a given. Anybody who's been around the Battle Brothers scene for any length of time knows that the Hugo uh, factor is real. So we're definitely going to have to get behind that. We're going to actually be able to hire a lot of people. Uh, I actually tried this again, guys, and yeah, it crashed on me. That's fine. So I tried this before, but eh. All right, there we go. We're going to get Dirk as our final guy. And we're going to leave and then go over here. Now that we're over here, we're going to, once again, remove some stuff. Get it all out of our way, because again, we don't need no clothing. We just need to be able to kill fools. And it looks like we're going to probably have a little bit of a hard time, because I don't think we're going to be able to afford a lot of weapons. So we might be using some of these sticks and knives. In fact, I'm even now considering maybe I should just go with the stick knives and the one archer guy. And see... Right, let's take a look at our overall combat prowess. 53, he's actually fairly decent. I don't really care about his stats and everything right now. That's not the point. He's good in both combats. Uh, he's a little subpar, but that's okay. He's really subpar. Decent, 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 eh. Decent, decent, eh. And meh. Alright, there you have it, folks. Alright. Clickety click click click. There we go. Alright, we're gonna sell it all off. And eventually we will be able to buy up some equipment. It looks like we are going to have one heck of a time getting enough equipment for all of our folks. But that's okay. We're gonna get a bunch of clubs. We'll do a spear, maybe a scarsamax. I do want the hand axe as well. I know, I know that was an expensive buy right there. A the hatchet's not so bad. And maybe another club, and then we'll roll with that. I'm not going to have any giant two-handed weapons this time. I was hoping, but we have 12 out of 12 Battle Brothers. We're broke as can be, but let's see if it's enough to get through. I think it might be. All right, you're actually fairly decent, so you're going to get the hand axe, and you're going to get the biggest shield, because we want you to stay alive. All right, I want somebody else with decent skills to have a club, and not a small shield, a club and a regular shield. There we go. 47 means you're going to get stuck with, let's see, you have 46, you have 52. I'm going to give you a hand axe and this. You're going to get stuck with a knife because you're terrible. You're going to get stuck with a knife because you're terrible. Alright, you are pretty bad too. I guess we'll give you, we'll give you the wooden club, why not? All right, let's hop back up here. 43, you're pretty bad too, man. This guy's at least 46. 
He's earned himself that at least. All right, there we go. We'll give you that. We will give you the spear and a little buckler. And it looks like we have just enough weaponry to make it through. 49 and a buckler and unfortunately... Ooh, this guy's got 53. Hmm. 52. 53. 52. Oh, no, we gotta... We, Hugo's gotta have the uh, the top, top play there. Alright, you can keep that. We're gonna take your shield away. And Reinhardt, or Reinhardt... It's that, and there we go. All right, so the Naked Squad is built. It is ready to go, folks. And we are going to go do some murder at the uh, Thieves' Den down here. The Bandit Hideout, as it were. There we go. We're going to get on in and get ready to do some murder. All right, there's going to be a single marksman and some thugs. There should be about five enemies against us, against our 12 rabid dogs. All right, so what I figured is you'd, you'd have these guys here, and you'd have the, uh, the commander of the mercenary company, which would be me. And I'd be like, listen up, maggots! For all of you who want to join the Rabbit Dogs, I need three things out of you. I need dedication, I need bravery, and I need ferocity. If you don't have those three things, you will never make it in the Rabbit Dogs. This is a trial and a test to prove your fierceness, your, I don't know, your, your overcoming fear, whatever the case is, blah, 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 on and on and on. Some of you may die, but those who live will be heralded as the greatest amongst you, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so something along those lines, guys. I figure that's what we could say right now. It's raining, so hey, you know what? We're not being encumbered by having wet cloth armor, so I think already we're winning right now. All right, we'll let them close with us. Hopefully the archer is god-awful and terrible, and it looks like we might actually be lucky in the fact that he may be. We're going to skip pretty much every one of our turns, mostly because, well, if you think about it, we have no armor and no fatigue is really gaining on us as we stand here. So we're going to sit here, and we're going to be able to act... Well, first and or last, simply put, we can wait out the enemy. So, they're going to move forward in some fashion. In theory, it doesn't actually look like they are moving forward. They're running from us. Oh my god, there's a, a horde of naked men coming at us. Run for your lives! That's probably what they're thinking. This guy moved up and said, oh gosh, we should run right now. They're naked. You know, I can't say I blame him. I mean, like, literally... Who wants to fight a giant horde of naked people? I'm just saying, it's probably not the best idea ever. Alright, we'll move up with him. I suppose we'll move up with... We'll move behind this guy, I don't know. With that one. Alright, we're going to come on down here. And get our knife-wielding individual Dirk. Who's wielding a Dirk. I think that's pretty good. We're going to come up here and try to catch that guy. And club him upside the noggin. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice style. Okay, we're going to come on down here, I guess. We'll end our turn. Our archer can probably take a shot. It's a terrible shot, but he can take one. And he is going to, and he's going to like it and miss, but he's still going to like it. All right, we have Horik. He's going to walk on up here. And we have our maceman who's going to come over here and hopefully be able to close this, this guy fairly rapidly. We'll see, though. We'll see how this all plays out. Alright, we're going to go over here, and that's it. We have our other knife man who's going to come down here. And our clubber, who's going to come up here-ish. And finally, our spearman is ready to go, but there's not much he can do right yet. Our axe wielder can wait, so we're going to put the shield wall up on him. The knife guy's going to wait. The other knife guy's going to wait. You guessed it, this knife guy is going to wait. And our little dude here is going to be able to close. Yeah. So, it's still going to be kind of messy, though. I mean, let, let's be real. It's it's not going to go well for that guy. I mean, the archer probably is more powerful than he is. He's got a stick that he's going to hit the archer with. <coughs> and the archer just clubbed him upside the noggin. So, not great for him. However, he's got backup. All right, we're going to move up a little bit further into the little hole there, and fire. Oh, we landed a shot. Very impressive. I'm going to come up here, and we're going to shield wall up. And what is the enemy going to do? Aha! They have come back to swing at us. But it will not be enough, I can assure you of this. All right, they're just going to hold the high ground, I guess. That's their big plan here. Okay, which that means to me that I'm going to have to probably go over here and help out. 
and maybe come down here and help out as well. Our knifeman can come around to the back side maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like maybe even moving in wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. We're gonna wait. Our club man's going to probably start closing in up here as well. We really need to handle this guy. So, going to stab him. Miss. Stab him again. Oh, yeah. Cutting that fool. We get up here and. We missed. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's okay, though. It's okay. Next up, we have one of our knife guys coming into play. We're going to have him sit there. <coughs> Oh no, and one of our battle brothers has died. So the first of the survival of the fittest tests has uh, has come, I don't know, come to fruition. He's he's not going to survive. He's definitely not going to be the fittest. Not sure who he was, but we'll remember him always once we know who he was. And we're going to miss again. Let's club upside the head. Nope. Guy is pretty, uh, pretty entrenched. Let's see, 22% chance. And our archer missed as well. Oh, and another one down. That is unfortunate. So two of our folks have fallen, folks. Now, when I did this last time, I had seven battle brothers, and I actually didn't lose anyone. And I had the archer pinned in with three people. I was about to kill him, and it broke. It wasn't great. There we go. Yeah. Get up after it. Yeah. Horik is just like, what's up, guys? All right. We're going to attempt once again to knock you upside the noggin. It finally worked. Sweet. All right. And same principle here. Knock and... Oh, what a miss. It's okay, though. He had to skip his toin. And we're totally okay with that. All right. Up next, we're going to move into his Zok. Stab him. That's not going to be great. I'll admit it. I'll admit that right now. It's not going to be great. Oh, but a big smack upside his head, and a stab, and another stab. No sneaky, sneaky shibs, huh? All right. Well, there we go. And another one getting through his armor, but not through his health. Okay. Oh, his dreadlocks are too strong. No, live, Ulrich the Mad. Live. Eh. You know what? We're gonna hold. We're gonna hold it with our shield here. All right, we're gonna move up a little bit, and we're gonna fire on the bandit thug and totally miss because our archer's bad. Ooh, we got knocked back. That's not really that bad of a thing. And he's dead, all right. So we've survived, Gunther got the last hit there. This killing blow was pretty impressive. And down goes that guy, Ulrich the Mad. No longer part of the squad. He definitely didn't make the cut, folks. Definitely didn't make the cut. All right, this is trial by fire, guys. Trial by fire. All right, let's get up here. Oh, wait. That's right, that's not our guy. Awkward. I totally knew that. I was testing you guys, see if you knew. There it is, yeah. And another big hit. Nope, not not so much. Not so much. All right, so he's down as well. Well, our guys with shields seem to be doing pretty decent at this point. Do we lose somebody with a shield? I feel like we had, didn't we have four shields and then like two bucklers? I thought we did, but I could be totally wrong. All right, we're gonna miss and maybe kill our own guy. Nope. Nope, our own guy is going to survive for now. All right, repost. That's totally fine. Do you know why it's totally fine? Because I can split your shield eventually. All right, and up here. Yay! Knock you upside the noggin. No such luck. And I can't do anything with you, I can't do anything with you, and that's it. Up next, we have our clubber. Who does not like flubber, by the way. It's weird, I know. Like, where did flubber come from? What? Alright, 50% chance, and we missed. That's unfortunate. Up next, another shield smack, and a follow-up one, and you no longer have your shield wall up, buddy. What are you going to do with yourself now? Hopefully this guy gets knocked out. Nope. Alright, someone's going to get hurt. Oh, nobody's going to get hurt. What? All right, we're going for an aimed 25% aim shot. And we hit our own guy. Yeah. Okay, we've knocked him out. And we're going to hit him again. We missed. We shamed to miss this time. There it is. All right, folks. Slowly but surely, we are murdering fools left, right, and center. 
It is going somewhat sweet, sweet, nice. All right, unfortunately, can't do much with him. Can't do much with him. I feel like some of my people are just skipping their turns in general. There we go, another stun. And Spearman miss, and 70%. We miss both of those. That is embarrassing, to say the very, very least. Try another smack upside the head. No such luck. Our Axeman cannot do anything right now. I am not risking another arrow shot into our boys. And we're going for the... Well, it's not going to be the kill blow, but just a hit. Nope, no such luck. Oops, I didn't actually mean to skip his turn, but I suppose we'll get to move again at the very end here. Alright, and... Crack! Okay, so he's definitely feeling pretty bad at this point. And there it is! We were victorious! Ulrich the Bad, Sigurd the Beggar, and Friedrich. Or Friedrich could not actually get through it, but Gun Gunner the Dwarf managed to get through. Ernst, Hugo definitely made it, of course. I mean, come on. And look at all that fat cash money loots, guys. Alright, so I have taken the Developer Naked Battle Brothers Challenge, and I have been successful. There were a few more losses than they had, I believe. I think they only lost one or two guys. I ended up losing three, but I had 12 and less, less money and equipment to actually deal with. So, it is simply what it is. I'd say if I were to up the challenge, guys, if I were to up this challenge and make it even more, more of a challenge, I would say same exact principle, but everybody had to use knives or less. So, you could have, you could have wooden sticks, you could have a knife, you could have a dagger, I think there's daggers available, yeah, daggers. And then I would even go up as far as the Scarsamax. Short of that, uh-uh. Nothing else beyond that. And the only thing you should be able to be able to bring with you is, if anything, a buckler. But even then, I'd say all knives, all daggers, all clubs. And just go in and brawl it out with them. Brawl it out like you're, you're a gang rumbling with another gang on the street. That would be my challenge. And I might do that later on down the road, guys. We'll see. But there you have it, folks. I have taken the Battle Brothers Naked Challenge. Hopefully you guys are up to the challenge as well. Let me know how you do. Feel free to leave a comment if you decide to try it as well. Either way, that's going to do it for me today for Battle Brothers. I know it's not in the normal series, but I figured they, they offered the challenge. I was going to accept it, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, that's going to do it. I will see you tomorrow with more Battle Brothers. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.